this is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review on this my NT3D printing pen. I received this uh, printing pen as a gift and um, always wanted one of these uh, to complement my 3D printing. So I finally have one now and uh, here it is. So um, this pen here does the standard 1.75 millimeter filament. So any kind of filament basically that, that a 3D printer takes has a wide range of temperatures ranging up to 230 degrees and as low as 140 degrees Celsius. So you'll be able to do everything from PLA to ABS with it. It also has a stepless speed control, which allows you to control the speed of the filament coming out. Uh, you can use this to create your own 3D art, to touch up 3D prints, basically anything you could imagine. Nice little neat product. Um, in my case, it's going to be to complement my 3D printing. If you want to get this for your kids, they can create their own little 3D prints out of it. So once I unbox it, we'll take a closer look at it and see how it works. It does have a replaceable hot end at the tip and it also has a built-in battery. So I will need to charge it before doing the demo on the product. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my unwrapping this. Got two cameras going, so we have two different angles today. So it looks like it comes with some ABS. Never worked with ABS, so that's pretty neat. A couple manuals, charger, cable. It's not a USB C cable, so if you break this might be a little bit harder to replace little screwdriver to replace the tip so I guess that's the replacement tip there or it's another screwdriver for it yep that aside so I don't lose it and that's it inside the box so here's the pen itself fairly lightweight a little bit larger and a normal pen charging port right here that's to control the speed of the filament from the looks of it temperature no nope, that's the stepless control right here plastic design the nozzle is uh, plastic as well All right, so I'm going to go ahead and charge this and then I will continue the video shortly. All right, so I had mentioned there's a battery in this pen. There's actually no battery in here. You just plug it in and it's ready to go. So right now it's plugged in. It says uh, welcome PLA. The target temperature is 190. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. So once uh, you, you select the temperature with the plus and minus buttons, you press this and it'll start heating up. So now it's at 47, 50, 60, it goes up pretty quick. It's gonna get up to 190 degrees. Uh, you load your filament through here. On the back end, just push it in like so. And I've just loaded some uh, PLA ST filament by Esun. There goes my microphone. So filament out of the way so once we get up to 190 you push this arrow and you can hear the motor running and you can already see filament coming out of the tip right there so that's to extrude it's extruding now and then that's to retract so extrude retract and this is a stepper motor speed back here so then when you double tap it it'll just start extruding automatically so as you can see, there's filament coming out. It's going really fast, so I'm gonna slow it down with the stepper motor right here. And I just have a little piece of uh, something that was created before. And I'm just gonna go ahead and build on top of this just to show everyone how it works. So I'm gonna slow it down. Speed up with the little slider. I'm going to be using this to do patching basically on issues. 
and various other things, welding pieces together and such. So I'm just doing this right now as an example to stop the extra extraction process. You just push the retract button arrow again right there. So as you can see, that's what I just extracted. It dries up and cools down really quick. Dries down and cools down really quick like so. So if you want to do ABS, you keep pushing the temperature up. It is recommended to set the temperature lower than what the actual PLA is supposed to be set at. So in this PLA's case that I'm using, it's supposed to go up to 220, 230 in some cases. I have it set to 190 on the pen and as you can see, it's extruding already. So again, extract, retract, stepper motor speed, heat buttons. And I'll show that again here. Heat buttons, extract, retract, stepper motor slider. So I'll do one more little demo. Double click the arrow and it sets it to automatic. So it's going way too fast right now. So I'm slowing it down. I'm gonna to try to fill the gaps in here. Just like a 3D printer, but in your hand and using the accuracy of your wrist basically and your fingers. All right, so I'll put that down for a sec. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build a little wall on here. So I am toggling the slider faster and slower as I go. Just until I find the speed that works for me. Brings a whole new meaning to everyone as a 3D printer. Obviously the slower you go, the more of a chance you give the previous layer to cool down. Double click to shut it off. And then I'm just gonna peel this off of here. So there's the little wall I built. So that's the demo really quick. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and shut the pen off. Actually, I'm retracting it right now. We can stop that process. I don't need to retract. So to shut it down, I'm just gonna unplug it because I don't think there's an actual power off button on there. So next is the troubleshooting. So to troubleshoot the pen, you just need a little screwdriver and you pry off this part here. So it came with a little screwdriver right here to pry the back off like so. It's not strong enough actually. So I will try the metal flat head. Nope, that didn't work. Whatever this is, it's not strong enough to remove the backing. Very interesting. So I will need a knife or something. So there are some of the troubleshooting if the pen doesn't extrude, um, there's a, a bunch of troubleshooting steps you can go through, which are in the manual. Uh, so for example, if the light on the display isn't on, make sure it's plugged in. If it is, see if the temperature is there. If the temperature is there, do you hear the motor struggling? If you do hear it struggling, you just uh, cut the filament and try to extract it, retract it kind of thing. If it still doesn't extrude, uh, you replace the nozzle, uh, contacting customer support if nothing works. But basically, uh, it all comes down to just, it's going to be trial and error when you troubleshoot. So I'm just going to try to pry the back off here gently without damaging the pen itself. So all your troubleshooting will be done through the little backing here. This is 
is not very intuitive. I don't think it's really meant to be open too often. Okay, so there's the inside of the pen. So you got your little motor here. There's the little uh, extruder mechanism to pull the filament through. You have your power cables there actually need to be really careful when you pry the back off so you don't slice them off. A little metal nozzle there to replace the head. It's just a small little Phillips screwdriver right there and that entire head pops off. You can get a new head on Amazon. So the little screwdriver is there again. This is the head you can uh, replace on Amazon uh, or through the manufacturer's website. So again, there's the feeder, the tube where the filament goes in, the circuit board for the OLEDs on the back. You don't want to touch any of that stuff. When you're troubleshooting, you're basically to replace the head is here. And for the most part, you got to use the, the actual physical buttons to retract and extrude to pull the filament in and out. I wouldn't mess around too much in here unless you're replacing the head. And then to put it back on, it just snaps right back in like that. And that's pretty much it. So do another thing here. So you uh, throw your filament into the little hole there. Power is right there. Stepper motor speeds, temperature, plus minus, OLED display, extrude, retract, extrude, retract. OLED display, temperatures, stepper motor speed. And once again, we'll just plug it back in just to see if I can retract the uh, filament. So I'm just Press the start button to get the temperature up again. As you play around with the temperature, it changes to ABS once you go over 190. 190 or less, it says PLA. So I have PLA in here. It does come with a bunch of ABS for you to test out. Uh, ABS typically is a little harder to work with. It causes fumes, so I'm not going to play around with the ABS it came with. I have tons and tons of filament, so I just need to cut a piece off or whatever I'm working with and work accordingly with it. All right, so I'm at temperature now, 190 degrees Celsius. I'm going to try to retract. There we go. Filament's retracting. Just give it a little tug as the motor is pushing to assist it. And there's my filament. So you can see, just like with a 3D printer, when the gears pull the uh, filament in, it leaves the little marks on there. So another thing to note is you want to make sure your end is completely flush when you put it in. So right now, if you were to put it in like this, it might cause a jam. So it's best to take a pair of scissors, cut that, make sure it's flush. I'll just put the filament back in. I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors to cut that. I'll show you guys how to put the filament in. So nice and flush. You feed it through right in the back until you hit the gears and then press, press the extraction button and it'll start taking the filament in slowly. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of assistance. I'm just gonna speed it up by pressing the slider here. And you can already hear it coming out. So slow down the motor by hitting the slider. Now you'll have better control of it. One more time. So again, I'm not really designing anything here or patching anything. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, I'm gonna do a line really slow here. I'm 
Oh, I'm gonna do a fast line. So you kind of have to kind of work quick if you want straight lines. If you want to have good adhesion, just like a real 3D printer, always good to use glue or tape. Or if you just have a good surface like I do here. I'll just create a skirt here. Obviously I'm not as accurate as a real 3D printer, but it's a neat little toy, good patching tool. If I ever have multiple parts, I'll use it to hide the seams. So I'm just gonna retract this because I don't want this PLA in here. And then that'll be it for the demo. The gentle tug, let the motor do the job. Shut it off. All right, so just like a real 3D printer, you just peel it off. Those the lines I made. So if you were to make some sort of 3D art, probably take a little more care than I am and you'd probably be using a better surface than this. But there it is. So as far as uh, maintenance for the nozzle goes, if it's clogged, you uh, back out the filament like I just did, you cut a new end, open the service door, remove the nozzle to check to see if there's anything jammed in there. If it's still clogged, try raising the temperature to melt the clog. If uh, for some reason you can't remove the filament, then it might be easier just to replace the actual head itself. Uh, if there's a jam, uh, you start by opening the service door up again, and then use the little uh, eyeglass pair to undo the head, try to wiggle the filament out of the head itself. The other tips uh, mentioned are if the motor stops uh, operating or struggling, Try backing out the filament again, like I was showing you in uh, the video earlier. And um, try to assist the pen with wherever the jam might be. Or again, nozzle maintenance. So most of the issues are going to be basically related to the nozzle itself from the looks of it. Anything else, you'll need to call service to have the pen replaced. So there's not, you're very limited to what you can do and what you can replace on this pen. So it's basically uh, extremely simple troubleshooting techniques. So other than that, once the pen cools down, try to clean the tip off. You wanna to try to leave that as clean as possible. Never touch the pen when it's hot. Uh, it says right on it's extremely hot and at 190 degrees Celsius, you could assume what that's gonna to do to your skin. And uh, that's it for today's video. Um, actually, one last thing I wanna add. If you do wanna use this with a battery, you're actually, it says in the manual to buy a battery pack. So any uh, of those, battery packs you carry around for your phone. You just need to make sure it's five volt, two amp, and the pen now becomes a portable pen with a battery, but there is no battery built into this thing, which is probably why it's so lightweight. So other than that, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below in the box. If you like the video, please like the video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching today. My butt out.